Hey guys, so on the bench today, uh, I'm going to be building a magnetic stir plate. Uh, these are incredibly useful, um, but they're usually pretty expensive. I think this one, uh, ever so long ago when it was new, uh, cost $800. Um, but we can build one uh, for far less than that. Um, so you might be asking, why would you want a magnetic stir? Well, you might want a magnetic stir because you need to keep anything suspended that tends to settle out. Uh, for example, AcroPower, uh, Reef Energy A and B, any of the filter feeder foods, and uh, some of the calcium and alkalinity supplements. Um, so you probably wouldn't want to use this for Kalkwasser uh, because the magnet will probably just get stuck uh, unless you keep uh, the, it on constantly, which you don't want to do. Um, but this project is designed to work with the uh, 24 volt D, uh, DC accessory outlet on the Apex uh, with the idea that these are often uh, underused and uh, the 120 outlets uh, tend to come at a premium and so you might have one of these lying around spare. Okay so to build the Apex stir plate you're going to need a spare accessory port. These come on the Apex 2016 or some of the modules have them. You're going to need a 24 volt fan, which you may or may not have lying around. Uh, this one is an 80 millimeter fan. You're going to need a 24 volt speed control, which are really cheap on eBay. You'll need a project box uh, like this. Uh, this one's made out of styrene, it's pretty sturdy, it's made in Canada. And you'll need some bolts. Uh, I chose uh, flat top tapered bolts and either M3 or uh, 440 uh, size should work. You also need uh, some type of locking nut uh, that will uh, match the bolt size, either uh, nylon, nylon uh, caps, or you could use a lock washer if you can't find either one of those. And you also need uh, some spacers to hold the fan uh, out to make room. So either nylon spacers like that, or uh, a few rubber spacers that look like that. You also need a, a large fender washer. You can do this without this, um, but it's just easier to do it with this. I have a half inch by two inch uh, fender washer. And you will need some neodymium magnets. Uh, you could either use these uh, coin style neodymium magnets, uh, bar ne neodymium magnets, as long as it's uh, oriented with the bar as uh, north and south and not north and south. Uh, and if you don't have those lying around and don't want to pay for them, you can also harvest them out of an old hard drive. I've never done this before, but I have an old hard drive lying around, so we're going to give that a shot. And then lastly, uh, you will need a stir bar, um, and these are available online uh, for cheap as well. Uh, the last thing that you're going to need is uh, the 24 volt apex cable um, and it has I forget what kind of uh, connection this is um, but these are a little bit expensive at $18 but they're nice they're over molded and I think it's worth it um, if you don't want to spend the $18 on the cord uh, you can build one yourself for a couple bucks um, but it won't be as nice but uh, to do that I'll put the links in uh, in the in build thread down below. So I'm just building this as a single spot uh, stir plate. So we would have a single beaker or whatever you uh, want to stir on this. Um, but if you need to stir multiple things like uh, calcium and alkalinity or reef energy A and B, uh, you can very easily do that. You just need uh, a box that is twice as long as this one. You need some extra magnets and uh, an extra fan. And that's really it. And you can turn this from a one spot to a two spot uh, stir plate.
All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to glue the fender washer to the fan and to give a broader base for the magnets. So I'm just going to use uh, some hot glue just because it's quick and easy. I'm going to try to put it around somewhat evenly so I don't unbalance the fan. And then just using uh, your eyeball, which is good enough for this, we're going to place it right in the middle. And we'll just let, set that aside and let it dry. Alright, so your next step is going to be to place the speed control on the box and I'm going to place it right about there and so I'll just take uh, my marker and And then take a, a drill bit, uh, this, this knob will just pull off, or if you have a slightly different one, it might have a set screw. And there'll be a keeper nut below it, and pick a drill bit, that's about the right size. There we go. And drill the hole. Should just slide in. Yep. We might have to take off that. Thin it up and throw on your knob, and there we go. Alright, so the next thing to do is to mark the locations uh, for the bolt holes that will hold the fan in place. So I'm going to take my uh, punch and line everything up. And I've marked the holes where they need to be. Then I'll take uh, one of my uh, M3 bolts is what I'm going to use this time and find the right drill size. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna countersink uh, these holes uh, so that um, the bolts sit flat so we have a nice flat surface to put uh, whatever uh, container we're mixing on. And I'm using uh, this counter bit, uh, sink bit. Um, and uh, these are incredibly cheap at like Harbor Freight or something or even online and you only need one of them. Uh, and I started out doing it by uh, with a drill and uh, figured out that it's actually just better to do it by hand. So just put it in, apply some force until you have a taper that fits the bolt nicely. And then that fits nice and flush. Alright, so then we need our magnets. And uh, obviously if you bought them, they're ready to go. Uh, but if you decided that you wanted to uh, scavenge some magnets from an old hard drive, then you're going to need um, torque bits. And it turns out I don't have the torque bits uh, that are small enough to do this. So we're going to try it a different way, which it's a dead hard drive. so. What do we care about it? And we'll see if we can open it this way. If not, I'll go get some torque bits.
Uh, this is the magnet, I believe. Let's see here. Yep, that's the magnet right there. Um, so now we just have to get this the rest of the way off, and I think they're glued in. So, oh, there we go. Okay, so that's going to be uh, your magnet if you're going to try to salvage some magnets out of these. I'm not sure if you're going to need one or two. I think I'd definitely go with two, at least uh, from this hard drive. Alright, so the answer is, can you uh, do it without the torque bit? Yes, you can. Um, but it's going to take you a little while longer. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and wire up uh, the fan so that I can test uh, the, the fan with the magnet to know when it's centered. So to do that, you will need a small screwdriver. And then this is the uh, power in, and this is the power out. And so we're just going to take the red wire and stick it in the positive marked side, and the black and the negative. Make sure they're both tight in there. And then we're going to take our bare cord and attach the wires to the power in. All right, then when we plug in our fan, we should have speed control. And you can see that I have it a little bit off balance, otherwise it wouldn't be shaking like that. But let's just take it down, turn it off. I'm going to put on our magnet. Put it about where I think is balanced. And if we turn it on. And... Not so good. Try it again. All right, that's pretty good right there. I think I'm gonna try to fine tune it a little bit better. All right, so that looks pretty good to me right there. So just in case, oh, where are we? There we are. Focus you. All right, so that's about where I got it to balance it. All right, then we'll take a little bit of super glue. Uh, I'm going to use some uh, really uh, super thin uh, super glue. All right, now wait for that to dry completely. All right, we got our fan all glued up uh, with the magnet, and now we need to attach the fan uh, to the lid. So, take your lid and put your bolts through the top side. Now, I wanted to isolate some of the vibration uh, from the top, so I took some uh, small rubber uh, washers and threw them down. Uh, 
And I'm going to see if that clears. So I'll just put the fan down. And I think it's rubbing a teeny bit. So I'm going to space it with one more washer. Then I'll put my fan on. And it looks like I bought too long a uh, bolt, so I'm just going to put on a nylon spacer just so I don't have to screw the nut down as far. Then I'm going to take my M3 nylon uh, lock nut and put those on. And now I'll just flip it over and tighten it down. Alright, so we'll just make sure it works just before we put it all together. And spinning. All right, so the last thing that's left to do is to put the cord through the uh, through the project box. And this isn't really necessary, but I'm going to use a little bit of strain relief. I'm just going to slide that on there. Alright, so I've glued my strain relief on, and I'm just going to drill the box. Alright, I'll take a little bit more hot glue. And put it on there. And put it into that hole. And wipe away any excess. And there we go. All right, let's give this stir a test. Here's Nice big beaker of water, and turn it on. And we have a stir. We can turn it up faster than that, but uh, realistically there's no reason to uh, turn it up any higher than this. As you can see, there's a plenty large enough of a cone already, so that's plenty fast enough so that, that'll be the max for this one. You can adjust it with that speed control uh, on the board. Alright guys, that's it for the uh, Apex Magnetic Stir. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, or you've got a DIY idea, make sure to put them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.